guys. Okay, I think I'm in the right group now. I had just started a video, this video, in another group in the wrong group. Mm. The first time I've ever done that. That's really bad. Um, okay, so I'm Laura Davis, as most of you guys know, and I'm just double checking. Hi, Candy. And um, making sure I am in TV rooted community because I was just in the wrong group doing a video. Hi, Courtney. I think I am in the right group now. <laughs> okay, yay. All right, so um, yeah, that's my first time ever doing that. I thought it was kind of crazy. I am Laura Davis, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Hello, Chris. And share a little bit of our story and our Young Living journey with you guys. I know that you're used to seeing me um, in Oil for the Journey and here in Deeply Rooted Community Group, also in Wild Experience, which is where we get to host all of our guests that are not members yet, um, to just let them learn about oils, and also over in the Deeply Rooted Office group if you're there um, for everybody that's doing Young Living as a business. Um, I chime in over there too. So you guys probably know me from all these different groups and seeing me and um, the fun part about doing this Young Living thing together is that there's such a great community online and we get to know each other through online and we would never otherwise know each other. So it's really cool. Um, so my husband Dan is a pastor. I'll share with you a little bit of, of our journey here. Um, we live in Virginia right now. We have two little kids. Uh, well, they're not little anymore. They are almost eight and ten. And um, I am homeschooling, which I said I would never do. There were a few things in life that I said never to. One of them was being a Davis because I was a Davies. My maiden name was Davies. So here I am, Laura Davies Davis. Hello, Amory. I also said I would never homeschool. And here I am homeschooling. Um, so let me know if there's anything that you've said you'd never do and um, ended up eating your words because I have done that a few times in life, bigly. Um, but I have grown to love being a Davis, obviously, and also um, homeschooling. It has really been a blessing, although it has its challenges. Um, but there are oils for those challenges, thank the Lord. And um, also have been teaching Young Living for five years now and love every bit of it. So um, if you remember me going back to like college days, Amory and I go back to college days in Sadie, we all lived on the same hall at Liberty University. You would probably remember me as the girl who could down a bag of Doritos in one night while studying for a test. Hello, Tracy. Um, any other Dorito lovers out there? That was me. I would sit up and eat a whole bag while I would study. Not exactly the healthiest of my years. Um, and then I met my wonderful husband, Dan, and he grew up on a farm and he worked in a hospital kitchen and he grew up with a nurse um, as his mother. So little um, did I know, he knew a lot about health, medicine, all that kind of stuff. Um, nutrition, real food. I kind of grew up on canned peas and Doritos, you know what I'm saying? And love my parents to death, they're wonderful. We just didn't know back then. We didn't have the internet and all the information that we have now. So he has been a huge blessing in our health journey in me learning how to live a healthier lifestyle. Um, but let's see here. Okay, so before Dan and I used oils, uh, we thought we were living really healthy. We were getting our stuff from the farmer's market. We were trying to do all the nutrition things. Um, but we didn't have any idea about the tools that were available to us in terms of essential oils and natural health care. Um, so I was, um, well, we were serving at a church in Florida. Uh, it was 2014. And it was very, we were there for seven years. Unexpectedly, um, we found ourselves unemployed. Uh, for various reasons and some of you may have journey, journeyed unemployment i know some of you are journeying unemployment right now and needless to say it is extremely stressful um and the anxiety and the depression creep in real quick during those years or those days those months that seem like eternity and um i was listening to um, Sadie on Facebook one day journey and she was talking about these essential oils and how they were helping her husband with his allergies but not that they just help with his allergies but they help with da -da 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 and all this other stuff and they're great for emotional support and she went into um, right there on like her Facebook feed she was talking about this ever maybe she had a link to her class that's what it was a link to like a, a video that she was sharing 
Um, she's going into these sesquiterpenes, sesquiterpens, that's how we say it, these constituents that are found in essential oils that have the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier and can help with emotions and bring balance and calmness and um, help with anxiety and depression and all this stuff. And I was like, what? There's something out there that helps with this kind of emotional stuff and stress that's not a pill. <laughs> so um, we uh, went to summer camp for four weeks that summer and Dan was the camp pastor. And so we were living in a dorm with our two-year-old and our four-year-old for a whole month. And he was preaching every day and counseling all in the afternoons and his schedule was jam-packed. He loves that type of schedule and that environment, but it is very draining on him. Um, emotionally and just hormone wise and sleep is vital um physically it just takes a lot out of him so on top of not knowing where we were going to live after we left camp um we had a crazy mortgage to pay we didn't neither of us had jobs um he just had a really crazy schedule so i reached out to Sadie. I said, hey, I saw that you had posted the stuff online that can help with tension and stress, anxiety, all the stuff we're going through right now with unemployment and living at camp and sleeping on camp mattresses and dorm room beds. And I said, can you send me something that you think would be helpful for him to release tension and just to help cal calm his um, anxiety and help give courage and confidence because um, you guys know that our men, our husbands, identify themselves a lot with their job, their career, their, um, you know, what they do in life. And needless to say, when something like that happens, they feel very beat down. And as a wife, I wanted to do something for him. Um, I was obviously praying for him, but I am such a doer. I wanted, like, a solution. I wanted a quick fix. Um... So I was so excited when I found that these could help. So she sent me a sample of Valor and Stress Away um, and maybe Frankincense, I can't remember, to us at camp. And I gave him a back massage and it just helped relieve the tension and the muscles so much um, in his shoulders. I remember he had so much discomfort playing frisbee with the kids and he just felt so good the next day after that massage, being able to move and just everything was loosened up. Um, and so he said, those things are amazing. They're really good, whatever they are. And I remember him saying, yeah, go ahead and get some. And I was like, are you sure? Like that's $160 or whatever it was at that time. And he's like, yeah, like I'll need that moving forward. We're going to need some of those. Hello, Robin. Nice to see you. Oh, okay. You can hear. Sorry, Courtney. Okay. Um, if anybody else can't hear, just let me know. I think we're good now though. Um, so anyways, I ordered my kit and, um, it came to us, not at camp, but when we got back to Florida and, um, we were packing up our house, moving out and moving into my grandma's house because we couldn't pay our mortgage and we had to get renters in. Um, so I was so excited to get my kit and we used it for all kinds of things when we moved into my grandma's house. It was her beach house that she didn't really ever live in. So it was very musty. Um, good. You can hear and we moved into her beach house and um let's just say there were some smells in there and purification became our best friend has anybody used purification for smells um thieves also became one of our best friends because we were traveling like crazy um going we had three different churches we were talking to um and our schedule was just kind of crazy we i think dan preached at four different churches, four different weeks, the one month, like in four different states. It was just, we were all over the place. And my little four-year-old and two-year-old at the time needed all the immune support they could get. Um, I can't hear you, so I'm worried with sound. Okay, Amory says she can hear on phone. Sorry, guys, I don't think it's me. Um, maybe, if it you can't hear, then when I finish, you will be able to hear once it's uploaded. We'll see. Um, so, oh, something I wanted to share with you all before I move on too much further in our story. Proverbs 27, 9. I love this verse. It says, ointment and perfume rejoice the heart, and so does the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel. And so going back to stress, anxiety, all that stuff, <laughs> unemployment, um, you know, right here in scripture, it says that ointment and perfume, which in biblical times. Um, hi, Ashley. It's okay to be late. Um, that ointment and perfume in biblical times 
would rejoice the heart and they would have been essential oils and natural things not perfume like we know today with full of synthetics and all kinds of junk um and so i just think it's so cool that even our creator um put it in scripture that essential oils are designed to rejoice the heart um and something else on that before i go too much further is i want us to remember essential oils place in our health and wellness um, is that they are a tool and one more tool that the Lord has blessed us with and that they are not the solo alone healer and that it's not essential oils that has healed our stress and anxiety but it is essential oils as a tool that God has given us along with prayer love community each other and that's one of the things I love about Young Living is that it gives us a huge community to bounce ideas off of to cheer us on to go through these trials and hard times with and it's just you know not alone not just the oils alone but the community is so healing and um joyful for our heart so um philippians 4 19 says hello patricia and my god will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. So we must be sure to go to the creator first to supply our needs and strength, not just his creation. A lot of times, I think as people think about essential oils and back through history, they think, oh, that's hokey, that's hippie, that's weird. Um, but we have to remember that it came, who it came from, who's the source of it, and that it, that ultimately God is the one that supplies us with these tools and with the um, ability to heal. Um, we are part of his perfect creation and his design, and um, he knows our bodies and our minds and our hormones best. Um, so when we lived in Daytona Beach at my grandmother's house, getting back to our story here, um, I was really hungry to learn about essential oils and health and wellness, and I'm seeing how it's helping and blessing our family um, with emotional stuff, with physical stuff. And so I got in our Oils for the Journey Facebook group um, led by Sadie Anderson and Jessica Jacobs, um, Simply Natural group, and I just soaked up every video I could watch. They were doing classes in there and posting different things. Um, I took my desk, re my um, pocket reference book that was given to me and read a lot of that. And this bad boy, I ordered him, I think for Christmas that year. <laughs> So this is like that pocket reference that you guys get beefed up on steroids. Um, it's called the desk reference. And I just was like soaking in everything I could learn um, because I wanted to make sure I was getting every, every drop was getting counted for too because we didn't have money to pay for our mortgage. So I wanted to make sure I was using everything right and um, getting my money's worth out of that box. Um, so in the different Facebook groups, um, I was learning about the essential oils, but I was also seeing these other things about like supplements, personal care products, um, household cleaners and things like that. And I was like, what? Like Young Living does all this other stuff too. So it was in these groups that I learned um, like how toxic that some of our personal care products are. Um, I loved Febreze. I would Febreze everything. Like I Febrezed my kids' beds and... Um, any other like laid plug-in people out there that were had the plug-ins all over i even put them in our church in florida because i thought like apple cinnamon pies smelled good in the foyer you know like i had all that junk and i was using clorox everywhere and so i was learning from these groups like oh my goodness um like this is stuff that is alternating our hormones and our hormones are already shot from all the adrenaline and the stress and anxiety and all this crazy stuff and I need to be getting rid of this junk if, you know, Dan's body has any opportunity to heal and come back to balance. Um, and if my kids have any chance on being healthy, like, I've got to get rid of this junk. So, um, I, I decided once we moved to Virginia, about eight months um, of unemployment, now we moved to Virginia and we've been serving at church here for five years. And it's been such a blessing. But um, once we settled here... I decided, okay, I need to get on essential rewards and start switching out some of the junk that we have so that Dan can get healthy. Um, and just overall, as a family, we can have the best chance to um, keep balanced hormones, have healthy cells, all the stuff, um, you know, that, that we can avoid. Um, we just wanted to um, give our bodies the best chance. So 
Anyways, I said, okay, that's Ghetto Century Awards. I don't know how we're going to do this. We're still pretty poor. But, um, so I called Sadie, or maybe I sent her a message. I said, okay, I need to get Ghetto Century Awards, but I'm not really sure how to do this because, like, I don't really have any money to, to work with, hardly. And she said, okay, well, um, Young Living has a referral program. You can get $50 for every friend that you refer um, that starts with a starter kit. And I was like, what? <laughs> So, um, I was like, okay, sure. Um, I can do that. I didn't know that this was like a, a network marketing thing and that I could get paid for teaching people about this. So sure, I'll teach a class. So, um, three months after we moved here, I taught a class and had three people sign up and get their kits. And I was like, holy moly. Okay. That paid for like three months of essential rewards right there. Like one class. So, um, that's kind of how it started for me sharing and, um, my sharing has grown into be such a blessing in that it's not just benefiting our family now by paying for our century awards orders, but I have seen these oils and these products help people with all different kinds of things and really change their life and their health. And it's become that I want to, to see other people's lives changed. It's not so much that I want to get my order paid for anymore because the Lord has taken care of that, but it, it's, it's a no, no better paycheck than to see somebody be able to have a turnaround in their health because of, you know, products or products, a, an oil or a product that um, is plant-based and comes from quality, um, a quality source. So, all that to say, that's a little bit of our story. I know I'm out of time here. I could ramble on forever probably. Um, but if you're thinking, you know, I need to, I need to change some things in my health. Um, my budget is tight. <laughs> I, I can really, I've been there. We've been there. Um, and our community is here for you guys to talk with. And if I haven't been through something that you're going through right now, then there's probably somebody in our community that has been and that can talk with you um, and can, you know, brainstorm with you. If you just need somebody to pray with you or to just listen to you, we are here. That's the beauty of this community is it's not just providing health products and ideas and getting away from junk, but it's such a community of um, like-minded people that bring joy and support and love to one another. So... Anyways, that's a little bit of our story, and um, if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to holler, but I hope that you guys have a great night. Thanks for listening in. Thanks, Patricia. I admire your discipline, too. You're an inspiration to me. All right. Catch you guys later. Good night.